looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order What's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today we have two ltds of course because it is thursday thursday ltd is one of the more consistent things we've had all year for the most part i mean you know we've lost legends we've lost monday you know tuesday stuff we lost team of the week we lost team of the year you know we're past all that you know that that weekly content kind of stuff so now we're kind of just at a point ltds and wildcard wednesday and legends was well, ultimate legends we lost legends is our only three things we have so it is exciting to see our weekly um LTD is now they're not 98 overall yet, which is upsetting. I was hoping this would be the week they switched them over, but of course, we will be getting some more. Of course, you know, it's going to keep upgrading weekly. So, next week, I imagine we'll probably go into 98s, which at that point, we have powered up base 99 LTDs, which is awesome. Awesome for the most part. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below, guys, what has been your favorite LTD drop of the year? Um, I can't specifically remember one for myself. I remember there was a really good one. I just can't, I can't put it together right now. If you guys remember, or just what was your favorite LTD player of the year? I really like that Saquon that we got, the 91 overall. Also because I'm a Saquon fan and we haven't had another Saquon since. But yeah, comment down below your favorite one. If you guys need coins to pick up these LTDs, head on down below and use code Poodle at Muck Coin Bank for 5% off your order. Take advantage of the super cheap coins. Now moving on over guys for LTDs, if you guys want to pull them today, Again, I have no luck in packs. I don't even tie, try it anymore. If you guys want to do it, I don't know what the best pack would even be right now at this point. I guess it'd be these elite packs. Uh, maybe for agency, maybe these game changers. Oh, Ult Legend Fantasy Bundles probably aren't horrible as an attempt because they are fantasy bundles, but these packs are just too expensive. In my personal opinion, what Matt needs to start doing is really dropping these prices down at this point in the year because people don't want to buy packs. Like, no one wants to spend 100 bucks on a game that you're not getting the bang for your buck right in the beginning you're excited it's all new the game's advancing people are like at this point you're kind of you're, sometimes you're playing alone your friends already have quit right they need to drop these pack prices down for sure drop them down at least drop the coin value now you want to keep the or the real they should drop both it should be a 70k pack or an 80k pack cut in half and it should be a 10 dollar pack or 80k coins that's what it should be and even that's kind of expensive and considering it is digital card that they're late in the year um but yeah, let's head over to the auction block. Let's see if the LTDs are up, and I'll take you to the screenshots. You guys know the deal. These cards are never up right away, especially as we got later in the year. Like, there's not many people. There's not as many people waking up, you know, at 10:30 a.m. Eastern time, especially if you're in the Pacific. Like, you know, now that no one's waking up at this time anymore to make sure they're pulling these packs right in the morning. So that's kind of just the the state of where we're at. Let's go to newest. Oh, DJ Reader and Golden Tate's actually up. That that's a shock. Okay, so let's start with let's start with Golden Tate because there's only one of them up. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen, and that's why I want I want to do it before he was gone. But oh, it's another one. Okay, let's try. Okay, Golden Tate, 97 overall wide receiver for the New York Giants. This is for me, guys. He gets a lot of team cams, by the way. If you guys do have theme teams, he gets uh, Detroit Lions, Seahawks, Giants, and Eagles, I think. And there could be one more, but I'm pretty sure. But that's not bad. Giants, Eagles, Seahawks, Lions. It's pretty good. It's pretty decent theme teams there. Maybe not the Lions. Uh, attributes. Let's see. He's a slot wide receiver, by the way. So that's his archetype for ability wise. If you guys are wondering, here we go. 95 speed. Overall thoughts on that? Wish it was 96. Like, this is just the point we're at right now. I think any 96 is. But if you guys haven't realized, 97 overall is like capped out at getting like 95 speeds consistently with wide receivers and quarterbacks. So I feel like the next wave of LTDs will finally introduce us to those 99 speed powered up and chemmed up uh, guys. So that's kind of what we're working with there. 94 jumping. Not bad. I mean, he's a bit smaller. 95 catching. Great. 95 catch and traffic's great. 95 spec catch is great. 97 short running's great. 94 medium route running and 92 deep. So essentially, guys, he's a good card. Now, powered up and chemmed up, he will get 98 speed, which is great. 95 jumping. He will get 99 catch and traffic, 99 short, and 99 medium route running. He's going to be one of the best slot receivers in the game. One of the best to have coming out of that slot spot for sure. Now, as far as height goes, only 5 foot 10, of course, on the smaller side, which is kind of why he's a slot, you know. 97 agility is amazing. That's great. Powered him, chemed up 98 agility. He's going to be fire. He's going to get 97 excel, which is great as well. 98 awareness. Now, what else does he got? So he has 93 carry. That's actually really good for a slot guy because slot guys get hit a lot. I mean, it could just be me, but like, you know, slot guys, you give them that quick little curl. You give them that quick little drag, that quick slant. You give them that, or you, what you do is you, you do the uh, quick seam. You throw them up the quick seam. You throw it right to them. They'll catch it, but they get rocked by that safety afterwards. And slot guys typically are smaller. So, like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like those smaller, uh, weaker wide receivers tend to fumble a lot more. So. Definitely important to have a receiver that can has a good carrying stat. Like I said, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? You see that there's uh, no corner lined up directly over the slot guy. 
Oh, do you see that there is a corner literally manned upon him? I, sh I, sh I streak him. See if you can get a quick release. I throw it to him, safety rocks him. I see there's no one directly over. I quick snap it, quick throw. It gets rocked. They get rocked a lot, right? Outside guys don't get rocked as much because they're on their guy, right? If you're throwing to them, they probably beat the guy or they're either deep downfield somewhere where the safety can't get to them or they're, you know, whatever it is. The slot guys are just always getting rocked. Next, guys, let's see. We got we got 73 trucking, which actually isn't bad for Golden Tate. 94 change of direction. That's a 95, which was a little bit higher, but that's not that's that's great. But I was hoping it would be close to 99, like his agility. His juke's gonna be a 98. Okay, so he's he, guys, he's one of the best after the catch receivers, which is really great. Definitely gonna help. 95 break tackle as well. That's super good. 93 kick returner, guys. This golden take card's good. Gets my approval. I wish it was one speed higher, but again, he's not bad, especially if you put him on a theme team, gonna be one of the best wide receivers. And then DJ Reader, let's see what he's looking with. We're not really excited for a defensive tackle. It's going to be slow. Oh uh, yeah, 70 speed, 82 excel. Right off the rip, you're probably not concerned with him. That's just the nature of that. 95 strength's good. 98 tackle's good. 95 play rec is good. 98 block shed's amazing. 92 power moves a little bit low. And he's not going to get to the 99 threshold for that exact reason, which is what hurts him even just as much as the speed does. Now, we're coming on down, guys. He's 95 awareness, 77 jumping. Uh, 97 impact blocking. That's good. Okay, let's see. Hit power, 93. That's pretty good. Uh, he, off the rip, here's the problem, right? So you're going to power him up and chem him up. He will get to 99 block shed, which is amazing, and 98 power move. Now, that's what's going to hurt him. Had he got 99 power move, I may have overlooked the speed a little bit. Not saying I would liked him, but maybe on a Bengals steam team in the right scenario for the right reason. Maybe he's worth it, right? But sadly, he's going to be one short of the power move, which does hurt him because he doesn't get to that 99 threshold. But he does get 99 tackle which is good 99 tackle 99 block shed 98 power moves you know he's a good pass rusher run stuffer i just wish he had better speed because that is super slow and you guys don't even understand like i said let's say you have ricky jackson at end right you have him down you know in a four-man front you have him on the end and right next to him you have a double defensive tackle in the middle right let's just say uh you have dj raider next to ricky jackson ricky jackson has 99 like close well, 95 to 99 speed somewhere between their powered up and chemmed up he's coming off like that and then dj reader is fighting he gets out he's just like trotting you know like trotting along it's just it's not the same and in mud people are used to the ricky jackson's coming at them fast they're making a quick raise doing all that dj raider gets loose they're they can run away from him they can just take their time it's, it's not intimidating them at all i promise you guys but yeah guys those are today's ltds overall i wouldn't say it's a it, it's not a great drop right because golden tate's good but not great um and then dj readers it's decent maybe below decent so decent plus good divided by the the two people I have in there and you're looking at a, a slightly below good or a slightly above average drop and you know it's average at best uh, per se but that's about it guys that pretty much wraps up today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up comment down below again who is your favorite ltd drop of the year if i had to rank these guys here dj reader and golden tate drop i'd say they're in the bottom i mean i'd say bottom 10 now guess you can't compare them to 88 overall ltds right we're talking about at that time the hyper on them I, I'd say bottom 10 because DJ Reader is not usable and Golden Tate is just barely maybe usable on certain teams. I'd say it's a bottom 10 drop. It's not that great at all. But guys, better for the video. If you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off. Take advantage of the super cheap coins. And that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.